Hello everyone. So today we're going to look at a bridge master uh, example. Bridge master is a practice tool on BBO, which uh, aims to improve your technical card play. So yeah, we're going to have a look at counting winners and losers and how that can help us formulate a plan as declarer. Okay. So here we have a hand. Let's bring up the auction for you, just in case we wanted to use that. So the south hand opened one spade. North hand with 10 points decided their hand was worth an invite. And we accepted on the south hand because we've got a pretty good hand. Yeah, looks like we've got 16 points, so we should probably accept an invite. So when we've got an abundance of trumps like this, we've got nine trumps. We can often count losers or tricks that we may potentially lose. Yeah. For example, in the diamond suit, we've only got one loser. Why is this, you ask? So, for example, we can win the first round of diamonds with the ace. We're going to lose the second round, the two and the jack or the four. But we can't lose the third round because we can trump it in the south hand. Yeah. So this would be an example of the diamond suit only has one loser. Yeah. For me, we oh, the way I do it, we certainly can, we count tricks that maybes I don't really deal with. So it's either we could lose two tricks in the suit, we could lose one trick in the suit, we could lose three tricks in the suit, that sort of thing. So have a go now, go suit by suit, and I'll give you a few moments just to, uh, yeah, have a go at counting how many losers you've got. Okay, so have we all got an idea in our heads? So I'm going to go suit by suit and count my losers. So I could lose a loser. Sorry, could lose a loser. Could lose a trick in spades. Yeah, the finesse might be wrong. I've got no losers in hearts, assuming that I can draw trumps in time. I've got all four top ones, or five top ones even, but I'm going to win the first four rounds. I might have two club losers. Yeah, both the ace and the queen are in west. Maybe just even the ace is in west. Yeah. So we're up to three losers. We've got one spade loser, two club losers, and we've got this pesky diamond loser, this two of diamonds that is probably going to lose a trick. So, when counting losers, as we're in four spades, we can only afford three losers. Yeah? So if we just draw trumps, yeah, the opponents might be able to... We draw trumps, let's say the king of spades loses, they play a club from east. Sorry, not the king of spades loses. If we lead the queen of spades, that goes small, small king to east. East switches to a club. We play the king. West loses to the ace, or West wins the ace. We lose. Now we're going to lose a diamond, two clubs, and a spade. One off. Not very good. So when counting losers, when we've got too many losers, we tr we try to get rid of our losers. Yeah, try and if we can reduce our losers from four to three. We can then draw trumps and be quite happy that we're only going to lose three tricks. Yeah, some of these losers that I've counted are finesses. Yeah, king of spades could always be on side. Ace of clubs can always be on side, but we can always test for those later if our plan doesn't work. Yeah, so where can we throw away one of our losers? Is it? Spades? Mm, trumps aren't normally the... They don't normally go away, do they? You don't have any losers in heart, so it's between clubs and diamonds. 
So take 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 your pick. It doesn't look like it's even going to be clubs. You've got no length difference in those. So it looks like it's going to be diamonds. From the opening lead, what do we think West started with in diamonds? What sort of honor structure did they start with? For me, it looks like they've led the king from king queen. So it means our jack might be able to be promoted as a trick. The first trick will go king, small, small, ace. And we could play a diamond towards the jack. Yeah. If West plays low, we play the jack. We don't have a diamond loser anymore. We've just won two diamond tricks. If West plays high, I win the queen. We can play a small one from the north hand. And we've now created the jack of diamonds for a discard. So that's what I'm going to do. See how see how we get on. Diamond to the ace. Now before drawing trumps again, I really don't want to take a spade finesse. It lose to East's king, and then they take two club tricks along with the queen of diamonds. So we'll play a diamond towards the jack. West hops up with their queen, not wanting for their trick to go away. this point they switch to a spade a very tricky defense now should we take the finesse is it risky what are the dangers of taking the finesse here yes yes so if we play a small spade from north the two of spades let's say we take the finesse if east wins the king they already got one diamond trick they win the king of spades and they play a club through our king we might lose two club tricks as well and still go off so to secure to make 100 percent sure of our contract almost 100 percent sure i'm gonna win the ace play our winning diamond and throw away our club loser So now we've we've already lost one diamond trick, but we've only got to lose the ace of clubs and the king of spades. And now I can continue just drawing trumps. Trumps are drawn. As we can see, the ace of clubs is in fact over our king with west. So, and east had the king of spades. So if we had taken a trump finesse, we might have gone off this point trumps are drawn we can just play a lot of winners and be happy in our in our making our contract contract made you get a little gold star at the end as well so Let's have a look how to get to Bridgemaster. From the homepage of BBO, we want to go to the Practice tab. Lots of useful learning tools here. I particularly like the bidding table with your favorite partner. Mini Bridge is a way to introduce, uh, introduce Bridge to some friends if you've got you know, family or friends that are interested in learning. But Bridge Master is the option we're going to look at today. You open this, B30 is the one we've just done. There are five different levels. It starts from beginner A1. Yeah, so I guess each level's got oh, beginner level intermediate level, all of these different uh, skill levels have 60 different uh, deals available. So for me to find your level, I would start with one of the first ones in beginner. 
And then if it's very, very easy, jump 10 deals. So I'd start with A1. If that's very, very easy, I would jump to A10 or 11. Try that one. If that's still very easy, jump another 10. And eventually you'll find your level. Yeah, at the point where it'll become challenging. Let's go to let's go to the one we just completed. If we try and try again. Yeah. Act, the bridge master is actually really nice. Well, you might not look quite nice. Let's say we take the wrong line. Yeah. Play a small one. They play a club through. We go off. Yeah. There are sometimes hands where you've got multiple ways to play the hand. So Bridge Master will actually move the cards around between the East and West cards to make sure that you fall into the right or only the right technical play succeeds. Yeah. If you really get stuck, there's always a show solution button up here in the top left. See if we can make that a little bigger. Okay, you really get stuck. You can press show solution and go through the down here at the bottom. There's a next button. You can go through and it it will explain the reasoning for everything. So South has a possible trump loser if it holds the king of spades. I agree with that. West king of diamonds has set up a trick in the suit for that defense. We had a diamond loser. There's also a risk of losing two club tricks if West holds the ace. Perfect. West has shown the king, queen, and diamonds with the lead. South can establish the jack as a discard for one of the club losers in the south hand. So it will show you the recommended play and explain why that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually the line we followed. So yeah, have a go. You can do it on your own. You can do it in any free time. If you've got a spare five minutes, you can log in and have a go at one. Yeah. Remember, declare a play. Partner can't really help you. Yeah. In the bidding and the defense. Partners there, you're interacting with partner, giving signals to each other or bidding, you're telling partner what your hand is. Declare a play is quite individualistic. It's sort of you and dummy and you're in full control. So I would say this is a great tool to work on your declare a play. So have a go and uh, yeah, tell me how you get on next week. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone. See you next week.